to talk to you for a moment about what does it sound like inside of your head? I mean, seriously, if someone were to listen to you talking to yourself throughout the day, what would they hear? Would you be proud of how you're talking to yourself? Would you be embarrassed and ashamed of how you talk to yourself? Well, today I want to talk to you about incorporating into your life some self-talk that's generative and positive and healing and beautiful. This is such an important practice because how you talk to yourself is, how, is what your cells of your body listen to. Your body, your subconscious mind and the whole body is, is consciously listening in on how you talk to yourself. And I want to give you some tips and tools on how to shift that today. This is Zen in a Moment. It's the podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome person that you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow, flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise, and I am your host, Zen Cryer to Brook, stress as guidance expert. You know, there was a time when my own internal self-talk was so brutal. I was constantly picking on myself. You know, our, in my last podcast, episode 30, I talk about self-love, right? And, and how that can show up as a reflection if you don't have self-love, how it can show up as a reflection in the world around you. And this particular episode, I want to talk about the next step in that, which is really beginning to treat yourself as your own lover, beginning to treat yourself as a nurturing mom or a nurturing dad, if you're listening to this and you're a dad, right? How you, someone who truly, truly loves you and is encouraging you to do better. Now, listen, I'm a high performance being. I really, truly am. I get shit done in my life, all right? And there's, I have this standard that is so high for myself in every area of my life, all right? I want my family to eat a certain way. I want my students and the people who work with me in my courses to get a particular transformative result. I want to have an epic love affair with my husband. I want to li- I live in the country and I garden and I grow my own food and I also write books and travel the world and I do all this stuff, right? And the reason why, part of the big reason why is because I've learned to cultivate what I call my self-love voice, okay? And I've learned to have deep compassion for myself. When I first started out, I was brutal. Every I picked on myself for everything that I didn't get done in the day instead of what I did get done. I would shortchange myself in my own compliments of myself um, and just find everything that wasn't perfect. And what I found was is this is debilitating. It stopped me from being able to put things out in the world. It also crushed my energy level and made me not love the person who was in the mirror. Your head noise is what stops you from not loving the person in the mirror. And it's your job. Your job is to love you. Your job is to love the person in the mirror. And I'm here to tell you, there are many, 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 many things that you should be loved for. And there are many, many things throughout your day that nobody is paying attention to but you that you need to be congratulated for, that you need to be honored for, that you need to get a little pat on the back for. Simple little things from letting somebody in in traffic to being kind to somebody that you know is stressed out, right? To go in that little extra mile to make that favorite thing for your family. Or possibly it's to take a little extra off of somebody's plate that you know needs it. Or volunteer to do something all day long. Even if you're just thinking kindly about somebody, something kind that you'd love to do for somebody, even if you can't, maybe there's a gift you'd love to buy somebody but you can't afford it, or something you'd love to do and you can't actually do it, but you thinking about doing it counts, right? You need to acknowledge you all day long. Give yourself little pats on the voice, now on the back. Now this voice that I'm talking about, maybe you have it, maybe it's already there, and I'm not talking about an arrogant, egotistical voice. Hey, man, I did good. I, look, I, was, I let that person in traffic, and I'm so nice, and I'm so awesome. No, 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 no. Yeah, you, maybe you have that voice, but I'm actually talking about combating the voice that's taking out and taking you out, your, the wind from beneath your own sails throughout your day, right? You acknowledging you 
fills your cells with energy. Now, I'm taking this from the internal guidance system, right? You, everybody's born with an internal guidance system. It's part of what I teach. And if you don't know what your internal guidance system is, go to Zen in a moment.com and check out the video there. I'll walk you through an exercise where you can feel it for yourself. You're born with it. Everyone has it. And it's my main thing as a guidance. It aligns you with divine energy. It lets you know which thoughts are moving you towards health, happiness, and success by this expanded feeling, or there's a collapsed tight feeling, which is stress. It's, it's worry, fear, anxiety, overwhelm, the physical sensation of that, frustration, irritation, all of that. That is a tightening, which means what you're thinking isn't true. And the reason why it's so important for you to cultivate this voice inside your head that is acknowledging you and loving you and compassionate about your faults and when you think you're going through difficult times, it, it's the one that says, you're going to make it through this. You can do this. I know it's really hard right now. There was a few months there where I was going through a lot. And marriage and I were trying, we were in a totally new space and we were going through a lot trying to kind of figure out what we were going to do and we have a toddler and and there was challenges there and there was a lot of work to be done and there's all kinds of stuff happening in our lives and and I bought myself a bracelet that said beautiful girl you can do hard things as a reminder like this time of your life is really hard but you can do it and throughout my day I've learned to cultivate a soothing inner voice and I actually, it's a practice. Like I, when I find myself beating myself up, I have to say, and it's easier now, but it was hard in the beginning, no, no, I'm working hard. Yes, it's hard. Yes, things are challenging right now. Yes, we have more things breaking than we have money in the bank. Yes, things I've got to keep working and moving and I'm tired. Yes, this is hard finding my faults and coming to the table open and ready for change in my relationship. Yes, it's challenging for me right now energetically. I'm tired and I don't want to put in the extra mile. Things are hard sometimes, but you can do it. You're amazing. You've got the energy for it. You've been through challenging times before. The other side of this is going to be even better, even better than it was before. Every time you've ever done anything that's been challenging or hard or come through a hard time, you've always looked back and said, that was worth it. It's awesome. It's great. This is going to be one of the best things that's ever happened to you having these challenges right now. You're going to learn so much. That voice. Not the, the, the one of, this is too hard, I can't do it, screw it, I want to quit, I want to give up, I, I'm not good enough, I can't figure this out, I keep falling back on the same problems, why can't I ever change, what's wrong with me, why don't I have this figured out by now, I'm in my 40s, everything should be different by now, I'm never going to find happiness, when are my dreams going to be fulfilled, this is, th why am I even here, what's going on with my life? <laughs> it feels like many, many women in my life have been going through similar things, which is why I'm bringing this up, is because there's kind of like like a midlife crisis for some women going on in the world where we're like, what the heck is wrong with me? Why can't I figure it out? Well, I can tell you that it's a time that you're going through, but also what I can tell you is, is, that, is that there's a voice of direness, of failure, that can show up when things are hard. My goodness, it can show up when things aren't hard just going through your day. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I can't do this anymore. What's going on? Is it ever going to get any better? That voice needs to com be combated with the self-love. You can do this. It's going to be awesome. You're so beautiful. You're amazing. You're doing the best you can. You're sensing a theme, but you have to cultivate it. It's not something natural. I can almost promise you that there wasn't somebody that taught you before the age of seven how to have a soothing, encouraging, loving, beautiful inner voice. Most of us got the opposite, the comparison. How do I measure up voice? I'm not measuring up right. Look at everybody else. That's where this other critical voice comes from. A lot of the times is measurement. And then also, we're really, really good at acknowledging our faults and not so great at acknowledging what's beautiful about us, what is working about us, right? The other thing about the critical voice is it's very dire and it's very short short-minded, right? It's, it's very, has a short-term view of the world when if you look at it in a long-term view, you've gone through hard things before or, and it couldn't, it, maybe there's all kinds of areas in your life that are great, but there's two that are weighing on you. Maybe it's 
the relationship with a child or your spouse, or maybe it's your career is not going in the direction that you wanted to go and it's a mess, or you know, maybe it's your physical health and your body, you're aging and you're not taking taking the time to really keep yourself youthing, doing the things you know you need to do that help you stay young and reverse your aging process with energy like yoga and food and you know, a happy mindset. So my point is is we will always have something that our mind can pick on us for. And it's your job to cultivate the self-soothing, loving voice that's acknowledging all the things you do right and how you've gone through hard things before and you'll be able to accomplish these things in the end and you have time to do them. You have time. You have time to make these changes. It doesn't have to happen tomorrow, next week, or even next month, or even this year. You have time. And you will do it. And you'll get there. And everything will work out. And it always does. And beautiful girl you can do hard things. So with that, I want to say thank you so much for listening. I love you dearly. Please share the word. Send this out. I'm starting a girlfriend campaign for those of you who listen. And if you could tell two girlfriends and ask them to tell two girlfriends and ask them to tell two girlfriends about this podcast and their internal guidance system, we can cure stress for all of us women who have so much we contribute in our lives to everyone around us. We need to be living stress-free, happy, and empowered. And you're learning to use your internal guidance system is one of the best ways to do that. So share, please, and ask them to share and keep sharing until we transform the way women are doing their lives into a sense of flow, feeling light, open, and wise. Also, you can comment below or give us a, a shout out on iTunes. It really helps a lot. And in the meantime, until I get to be with you again, I am sending you love and blessings. <laughs>